Okay, apparently that scene didn't have any audio, well, like it should have. So, oh, come on! Yeah. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian, along with... First Matrix here, at your service! And, yeah, I definitely need to fix that. Uh, anyways, this game that we'll be streaming today, Zanzara the Hidden Portal, it is 20 years old, and we will get it started up in a second, but first a bit of warning, it is finicky. Uh, it is possible to run it in windowed mode, but I only found out how to, like, minutes before this, so I'll have to get to work on that between this stream and the next, if I can even get it working. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's get this game started up. And right. It's going to take a second, because like I said, it is a 20-year-old game, though it runs better some, uh, than some of the other games that we've tried of that age. <laughs> Wait, yet you say it may be finicky? Because it doesn't like being all tapped at all. Uh, we take him. What the? You can already guess at one of the strong suits of the game, can't you, huh? Naked fairies on the uh, title? No, the music. Also, this effect is yeah. because yeah, the game isn't supposed to run in this high resolution. So let's move on from that. Oh dear. But yeah, I agree. The music was very nice. It, it, I also had Bob the like you. <laughs> and it continues on with this, with the main track uh, named "Come with Me." All in all, I'd say the, the music of this game is very good. But before we... Well, we're not here to enjoy the music all on its own. So let's get rid of the save I have there, the test save. Hey! Uh, if it's a bit unusual, normally when you hear games with lyrics like this, it's usually an anime. It feels weird with all the games that have lyrics. In the distance. She heard the roar of the waterfall. What? I've got to go, Amy. All right. Curious, the composer of this mu of the oh, this composer of the soundtrack of this game, if my memory doesn't betray me, like it usually does, is their their working name is King Einstein, and I don't know if they've made any music besides this for this game, but you can download it for free off of a site if it is still online. Otherwise, you can just find it on uh, YouTube or so. And hello in the chat, noon there. Now what? Do I wait here for my prince to come? <laughs> Amy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amy is the name of our character here. And yeah, the the human world here is a bit of an anachronism stew, huh? It it looked the Amy's mother was dressed in what looked like Victorian gear. But there she has a car, she has a television, there is a <laughs> computer upstairs. And yeah, things look a bit drab in here, don't it? Well, they have very British accents, so it might be in England. This, this is still common, I think. No. no. <laughs> it literally said London during the cutscene. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that confirms it. And around this time, compu computers and TVs were still like that. I think the game is stuttering a minor bit on the stream for some reason. Not that I, I noticed. Know might be. Uh, how old is Amy? Um, I think she's supposed to be 16 or 17, young adults. Alright, so far the games looks amazing for how, it, how old it is. 
Do I'm surprised that we're um how tight the pants are. Hey, what's that? Bro wrote some slick visual basic program on his computer, what? <laughs> and yeah, we interact with let's click, and then we choose our options. And well, not opening this thing would be a bit uh, climactic. And yeah, Amy will do that little dance with every important item that we get. Rune of the Fairy Garden. With magic runes, you have the power to get to different places without losing much time. For this purpose, open the rune menu and choose the rune of the desired place. And that's... well, menu is right here. So, off we go. Wow! What was that? Where am I now? I hope this isn't one of those dreams full of little green men. Uh, what you ask for, Amy. Uh, just like that one there. The Holy Druid's name. At last, my mission has been fulfilled. I have now almost given up hope. Humans are so terribly narrow-minded where magic is concerned. You are the only one who could use the room. And yet I have been watching you enter port for centuries, searching for the prophesied hill ring. Only, only she would step, in the, step through the ancient portal. So what you're saying is that for the last century, a few centuries, you've been breaking and entering into random women's homes and leaving behind boxes with rooms. Thus it is written, and now you are here. I actually did it. I, Rafi the Goblin, the genius. It was high time to. Uh, once there was true harmony here in Sanzaro. Peace among the goblins in the Great Swamp, the elves in the woods, and the dwarves in their mountain caves. The White Druid, our guardian, watched over them all. But now one disaster follows another. The fairies were once the pillars of magic in Sanzaro, but now they are wild, and instead of helping us, they attack us. Paths are indeed are either bought by large rocks or are grown by hoarded bushes full of thorns. Life has become a burden, and matters are still getting worse. It looks like my avatar is being a bit iffy again. Shadow elves have left their dark homes and are creating chaos in Sanzara. No one can stand up to them without the fairies' help. But now you are here, and there is hope once more. Will you help? You will help us, won't you? Not much like we have choice. Well, we can't go back. <laughs> of course, that is what is written. I knew it. Nothing can stop a true heroine like you. But he certainly, sm uh, he certainly sounds like he smoked some heroin himself. Oh, come on! A prophecy has existed since ancient times about a hero, or rather, a uh, heroine. Uh, you will keep coming across parts of that prophecy. Nobody knows all of it. Not even the white druid in the realm of clouds. Though nobody knows all the secrets of them, so I will help you uh, will find help everywhere. I will always be ready to offer you advice. The others also know much about Sanzara's secrets. Who knows, you might even find the ancient writings. A true heroine always finds her own way, though, don't you? You're going to need this fairy bag if you intend to fairy, uh, fight. Just learn how to fight fairy duels. Only a true fairy mistress will be able to prevail. Beyond this pass lies the elf village of Endeavor. We're bound to find out more about fairies there. Mm -hmm. He hands us the fairy bag. It's an extremely useful invention that can hold an almost unlimited amount of items without changing its weight or size. And now we have this menu rack, our inventory. With all okay. the two things that we have, the bag itself and the room. Um, Ilya, you may want to read the chat, if you can. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Yes, Rakir, the character artist did an amazing job on the pants shit. He went all in. <laughs> That's painful. Yeah, I will say one thing. Uh, this game should not really be played for its story. Because, yeah, the, <laughs> there is story, but it's played out a bit... Well, it's played out as bland as cardboard. 
There's especially Amy here, who's just <laughs> she isn't much of she doesn't react much to things. Like she's been thrown into a magical world, given like half an hour of exposition, and her reaction is a blank stare. And that I feel like they could done better it. Yeah, this game certainly deserves to be remade if anyone ever wants to. If I'm correct, the rights of this game are currently in the hands of Daedalus Entertainment. Unsure who that is, but yeah, if they can remake it with improved story, with similar gameplay, they could be successful. Yeah. And Daedalus, I looked them up just before the stream, they released some games uh, that have been mildly popular recently, like Unrailed and Witcher. Oh? Huh? Those are recognized. Once upon a time, there was a hidden world, a world which still exists today. Sensera, the land of magic and sorcery. Far away from the sorrows of the humans, goblins, elves, and dwarves live here in peace. Sensera is their paradise, but this paradise is falling apart. The magic powers are running wild. Chaos is spreading everywhere. The old world is decaying, and Sensera is likely to go down. Nobody knows why this is happening, and their last hope is that somebody from the world of the humans will save them. I don't think it's ever specifically said that why only a human could save everything, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's just ignore that bit. Okay. We have standard movement with WSD. If we press right mouse, Amy can. Well, <laughs> who says white you know, white people can't jump? Uh, medium healing potion heals by 50 points. Simple enough. But yeah, she can really just leap, huh? And that, that's one of those. Yeah, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Uh, we could attune it to uh, this world having lower gravity or something. Oh yeah, Rafi right. will continue actually, to hang out here. It looks normal, the young. It actually looks realistic, except the height the young's up in. Yeah. Uh, Rafi will continue hanging around here. I believe you can ask him for hints on where to go from time to time. But for now, there's only one way to go, so let's head that way. Village in the Garden of Fairies. What a droll place. What is it? She arrives and immediately she insults the Paddy area. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, here we have one of those owls. Amy, it's good to see you, man. For once, she's being respectful by Polly. Probably because she knows that an owl can take her eyes out. Perhaps. Is it perhaps? Uh, we have been waiting here for you a long time. I was were dispatched from the forest routes and around to help you on the quest. And if you ever meet one of us, don't hesitate to ask questions. Please remember that none of us know the whole of uh, Our knowledge is limited to the region we were sent to. And yeah, basically the introduction <laughs> the expositionist. Yeah, here we have uh, one of the elves that we'll be running into. Well, we'll be running into plenty of them. And yeah, all of them will be speaking in this random gibberish. That sounded French. Yep, their languages are somewhat based upon French for uh, the elves. Uh, German for the dwarves, if I remember correctly, and I have no idea what the hell the goblins are supposed to be speaking. You mean that that was a Dutch? No. <laughs> nope, a giant. That's your king. Strange signs have come to Tanzara. First, you know, those horrid little pixies appear, and now giants are intruding in the village. So this is pixie stole my valuable fairy spear. We can't get any more fairies. I suspect the pixies have hidden it somewhere in the village. And yeah, if I remember correctly, it's actually right around the corner here. Or not, a small game function. But yeah, 
yeah, the gameplay, oh, the gameplay will be split between exploring like this and combat. Well, we'll see, oh, there it is. Silver sphere. Use this magic sphere to capture inexperienced fairies up to level 20. Tame fairies lose a lot of experience. You had better train them before using them to fight. Yeah, like I put in the title of this stream, the combat in this game is basically going to be Pokemon, but with fairies, real time, and in 3D. I remember you'd say, doing, doing that comparison, just, I did not expect it literally with actual. I could be say this. Fairy ball. And he likes the game already. I like the gameplay of this game, and just just listen to the music and the environment. This game may not be good on its story, but just immersion and gameplay, that's where this game shines. Yeah, and if they do remake it, they know what to improve, the story. Yep. If they can improve the story, it'd be a fun, nice box. and I've only got one fairy, but Rufus is a former fairy master. He's staying in the house right there. Right here. Right out specifically which. Since the pixies have escaped, Rufus doesn't dare to leave the village. We are sure to find him in the tavern. What a great fairy master. That was probably sarcastic. I know about leaving the village. You must be new to Zanzara. Don't you know that without your own fairy, you are hopeless against the wild fairies? Find a fairy first, then you can leave the village. Lucius here is basically that old man in every Pokemon game that prevents you from exiting an area before you learn how to capture your own thing. Uh, so, so Pokemon! What the heck? Like, uh, wasn't this also before Pokemon got uh, popular in the West? Uh, this game this game came out in 2002 it is 20 years old so it came out after Pokemon I believe yeah, I believe the originals came out in the 90s 99 I believe yeah the original Pokemon will come out came out in the 90s in Japan I mean they took them away before they spread outside of Japan really you said to leave the what strange man of a preacher are you? Human? I thought you were dog I died centuries ago. I'm Rufus, the fairy master. Who are you? Have you come uh, to help us against the fairy pixie plague? Yes. Then you'll need your own fairy. In this area, there are many wild fairies. They'll attack you if you come too close to them. You'll only be able to defend yourself with your own fairy. You had best go straight to my house. There are three fairies there that you can choose from. Pick one, then you can help us fight the pixie plague. Take this key so you can enter my home. And yeah, of um, course, we'll be having keys whenever. And you've probably also already noticed that this one and Lucius have a fairy floating over their heads. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how we'll be. <laughs> we'll have our own flouting with us soon enough. Yeah, and wait, wait, wait. I have to say this. The humans are opposites of extinction. They're overpopulating. Yeah. <laughs> go away. Just take this coin and go. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of these characters, some of uh, some characters will just be playing poker and such, and if you bother them, they'll they'll toss you a coin and to piss off. To me. Welcome to my tavern, stranger. I've heard some bad rumors about the capital thoroughly. Dark powers on the rampage. I don't know what to do. Fairies are conspiring against us. Our ways and partners have been blocked and arcaded, and there are rumors of evil shadow elves. Fairy collector. Before everyone had their own fairies, you know, now, uh, but now the fairy collectors are being persecuted by the shadow elves. Even an honorable you know, fairy master like Rufus is scared to leave the village. Okay, so that's basically why they need someone from the outside. They're all, they're all scared shitless. Oh dear. And yeah, the designs are very, very European, as you can tell. Yep, and it looks 
like they, whoever made this really took time to look on old buildings and all that. Like, look, see that the, the garlic and all that is nice attention to detail. Yeah, this is one of those pixies that have been plaguing the area. We can't do anything with them yet. But we can collect some stuff, like a mana potion. Fairies lose their magic energy if they cast too many spells. With this potion, you can make sure that they you know, don't, won't run out of energy during a fight. Another smoking item. And, oh, I never noticed this here. It's a skull candle. Uh... Sorry, you're not in your place. Help me. I hate pixies. Until this creature stops rampaging in my shop, I won't sell any magic items. So, yeah, we need to get rid of this little shit to get her to open her shop back up. But, like I said, we can't do anything with them yet. Wait, we I just realized. If this is London or all that. No, it says it isn't. Yeah, we, were, uh, we were in London, but we were transported to. Well, to another world. Uh, what I meant is, uh, if they're gonna take inspiration from uh, a lot of European fairy folklore, makes me wonder if they're gonna be bringing the Dolahan. It's not many know he's a fairy. I think they actually might, because the name sounds familiar. Uh, Dolahan is now depicted as a. Headless Knight! Uh, then not, but I think there is something similar. For now though, we found the Rune of Return. There is a special magic in this room. It, it always returns the owners back to their place of birth. Uh, uh, I will repeat myself. Headless Knight, not Headless Horseman. Very different. One is a human that got his head knocked off. Meanwhile, the other one, head is always not attached. They carry around their own head. And all armed with a whip made of human spine. But, yeah. Rufus is basically our Professor Oak, and these are our three starting no. fairies that we can choose between. Nature fairies are frequently to be found in these parts. Their powers are evenly distributed, they are agile and capable of performing powerful magic. A nature fairy will prepare you well for future fights. You will want this fairy, and I mean this one. Meaning not uh, this one and another, or another one and this one. I don't mean any other or a different one, but really just this one I'm describing here. No, we are not picking this one at the moment. Wait, what? We still need to check the others. A stone fairy. They're good-natured and friendly, though maybe a little listless. They can take a lot of damage in a fight, and but they're not as agile as other fairies. Dependable companion. And there they go with this, but I, I don't know why they do this. I think it's supposed to be a yoke. It probably is. And last but not least, we have a particularly rare and valuable fairy. You cannot find it especially hard to catch water fairies. However, the strength of such fairies may vary greatly depending on the opponent. This could lead to tricky duels. So yeah, we have a nature fairy, a stone fairy and a water fairy to choose from instead of well in most poke in well in all pokemon games you have a grass type a water type and a fire type here though the fire is switched out with stone all right there's also this here and uh, some more healing functions i do like that jingle but yeah we will be choosing the nature fairy cilia Nature fairies like Celia get their energy from the living things around them. These beings hate oh, being fenced no. in, therefore you will only find them out of doors, under trees, in bushes, and in the undergrowth. Um, the reason why I'm not pick I'm not picking either of these is because, well, stone fairies, they are very, very slow to attack, so it that makes them it make basically makes them punching bags. Um, Water fairies. Hmm? Uh, you know what? Go on. Uh, I take it. Uh, I'll bring it up soon. What the fact that <laughs> it looks like the fairy is wearing a thong? Yes. It was hard not to notice when it was so close up to my face. Hello, you. 
can help me fight the pixie plague with your fairy. Why don't you visit me on the other end of the garden? I'll give you a magic map to catch the pixie's friends. Do you know how to fight with fairies? Or... For the explanation, let's say no. You can carry five fairies at the same time in your fairy map. If you are attacked, the fairies will fight for you. You need to learn how to use the strengths of your active fairy in combat. Any fairy can fly as long as it has sufficient energy. In battle, you can see their flying energy as a green bar. Luckily, this flying energy is removed after a certain time. Nevertheless, you still need to use it wisely. You can attack with defensive spells. Every spell is dependent on the time. The longer you charge it, the stronger your spell will be. But don't overdo it, or the spell will be turned against your own fairy. Cast the spells support your fairy. They protect it from damage, strengthen its attack, or help you in some other way. You can purchase spells for fairy coins if you meet a magic merchant. These magic merchants are devious profiteers, but you will need their help to strengthen your fairies. You can meet one of them at my cottage. Your fairy's life energy is indicated by your red bar. If your fairy has been defeated, you can heal it with potions and herbs. Do I explain these basic rules to you again? No. Well then, I'll get the collecting bag and we'll meet at the other end of the garden. If you have trouble finding my house, take a look at this map. It's not quite complete, but it should be sufficient for the fairy bar. That oh dear. Oh dear. What have I gotten myself into? Um, no, you said that was a deep shading. I don't think that's deep shading on the pants. Map of the Fairy Garden. The overview of the Fairy Garden, your current position will be automatically displayed on the map for your orientation. And yeah, there we go. It's not too useful, but it is. Oh. Somewhat useful to get it to one. Somewhat of a direction. And yeah, here we go into the fairy garden. And with another owl. <laughs> Amy, it's good to see you. You're entering the lovely fairy garden. It's a place full of color, scents, and sounds. Careful though, many of the larger trees and stones are the homes of wild fairies. These fairies enjoy attacking travelers like you just to annoy them. You can fight them off using your own fairies. The fairies are weakened by magic duels. Avoid these trees and other conspicuous, conspicuous places. That way you may get by without a fight. You won't be able to dodge every fight though. But you can avoid certain spawn areas. Let's see. <laughs> I can assure you that it's shading in a normal map. Oh, and here's another pixie. I feel like this game was made in Europe for in the USA this would not fly. Yeah, this was made by a German company, Fanatics. And yeah, here we go into combat. We are facing a war god. Which, well, we can actually see what spells it has. It has these spells. What? Slight quake, but no nothing else. And what yeah, the heck? It's a worm being carried around by a fly. And as I kill a fly today. And First fly of the year. What the heck? Yeah, this is how combat in this game plays out. Oh. By holding left click, we charge or attack, which, well, the spinning indicates how much charge it has. And when it's flashing like that, it's at maximum charge. Different spells will charge at different rates, and where the fuck there it went. If you hit with strong enough, <laughs> if you hit something strong enough, they will occasionally drop it there. Oh, oh. Drop a coin, and yeah, just hurt them enough, and you can start capturing. But we don't want the worm god. Message from Noon. Fear the German game companies. <laughs> yeah. There we go, victory. Of course, we get experienced. Experience. And there we go. Once defeated, it will drop some coins for you. And you will gain immunity can spawn for a bit, I believe. And this tree is also a spawn point, I believe. Right there. And we are attacked by a Blumella. Both of these are all so fair nature fairies. What the? Uh, um. I get the feeling the thoughts for this might get struck by witch for nudity or something. No, but I don't think it will do. It's pretty close. 
Because Noon seems to like Lumella. Uh, if I can, I can try to rip the oh, the three D model from the game if you want to three D print it or something. Why? Why don't we name Bone the Fairies after Noon? Uh, Would you like that Noon? Might be messed up a bit. Score level. I think something might be messed up a bit by the uh, resolution because I wasn't actually seeing our health and flight energy. I was paying the attention. Hmm. The model artist is my friend already. And here we have another owl. Oh, a human in our world. I've never seen an. Uh, I've never seen a human before, let alone one with a fairy. Come on, let's see who's fairy is best. Okay, if you win, I'll give you a valuable item. And yeah, of course, uh, <laughs> a Pokemon-like game will, of course, have trainer battles as well. <laughs> it's a level zero war god. And a level two Cilia. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing our energy anywhere. It's odd. I might need to lower the graph, you know, the resolution, damn it. And of course, in trainer battles, you, well, can't, of course, can't capture any uh, berries, and you can also not escape. Most of you know, these arenas will have escape points for you. And, yeah, if you fall off, that's instant death. What? What? But you fly! But you can only you have limited ability to fly. Oh. Let's see. The skill is surprising. Take this mana potion. You can use it to recharge your fairy's uh, magic energy. If you rip this 3D model, it will look like a block oh. mess. But maybe it might look okay. They would need some details added to it. Okay, I, that's been an issue that I've been having with. Uh, the ripping program that I've been using. It, once, it, once it's ripped out, it looks okay, but once it's processed into a format that uh, Blender can understand, it looks it looks screwy as all hell for some reason. You'd better check whether your fairy still has sufficient mana. If its mana is used up, it'll automatically use up its life essence, which is not very good for it. So yeah. Don't run out of power or you start bleeding yourself dry. Okay, I believe this stone is a spawn point. Very points. Last gold of the arts. Collected to buy precious objects of traders in Zanga. And so for some reason the title of the game has the second second C Z Z uh, capitalized. But in game it's not. And I seem to was wrong about the stone, but I know this tree does spawn. It's in point. And yeah, the whole explanation behind these arenas is basically that the, the fairies retreat into a little pocket dimension for their combat. Definitely to look at what is yeah. what I'll need to do to get this working with the, uh, the bar showing. Woohoo! Woohoo! And yeah, Celia will make that sound with every level up and victory. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Items. Medicine. Removes negative spells from fairies such as burn, poison, frozen, confused, or no and no magic. Basically, status ailments and the way to remove it. Nothing specific for each one, just one general item. And an owl. Um, oh yeah. You were going to say something. Yeah, we we'll say that. Um, I agree with you, Noom. Uh, fairies are cute. I kind of, I kind of like fairies myself. I think some of these you won't find as cute. I'll say. 
Secret City. How do you like the fairy garden? In the normal way, it's very, it's a very harmonious place. However, the fairies who live here have been aggressive of late. There are pixies everywhere. If you want to catch fairies, you need a magic fairy spear. There are three kinds, uh, three different kinds. One of silver, one of gold, and one made of crystal. One for each, uh, well, each stage of difficulty. Uh, the gold one captures up to 40, and the crystal one catches up to 60, if I remember correctly. Before you can catch a, a fairy using your sphere, it must be weakened in a fairy duel and attacked by your fairy. When it is back from the astral plane, the fairy will be seized by the magic sphere and whisked away to your place of birth. If, you're, if you already have five of with you. You may need a more powerful sphere depending on the experience level of the fairy you want to catch. You can catch fairies up to level 20 using a silver sphere. More powerful fairies will require the use of a golden sphere or even the rare crystal sphere. This is me anytime you want, Amy. I get bloody lonely out here. Yeah, let's see. Pixie Hunter's Hut. I think we need to bring him to Hooters. And here we have a fast path. A what? A little troll fairy. Also, I like that at the top of the screen it says if you don't, if you have or don't have this particular fairy yet. Okay, here we go. Not being able to see how much I can fly or not is going to be annoying. And okay, that wasn't the. I don't think that was the spell backfiring. I think that was the fast path taking a sniper. Well. No, I think it did. Okay. And there we go. Easy enough. Fast bats are probably the weakest of the stone fairies that are out there. Also, that uh, special stat in there, I've looked it up. It actually means how... It's actually a lot of things. It's their crit chance, their chance to inflict a status ailment. Uh, and chance to be afflicted by one. It's it basically Pokemon Gen 1's special stat, where it's, it, well, being rather overpowered. Yeah. How, I don't know how much it affects things in here, though. Welcome to a peaceful garden. Can you see that lovely magic sphere? I'd like to get it, but a particularly aggressive fairy is right beside it. Well then, let's put up a save. And the rabbit. Attacked by Korgoth, level 12, level 11. What the? Yeah, this is the evolved state of uh, Wargoth. <laughs> Korgoth. And as you can see, this thing already has some more spells. Let's see it. An attack, uh, attack probability of critical hit increased by 60%. I'm no. not sure if that is a flat extra 60% or just that it increases the critical chance hit by 60% of what it is. Oh dear. And, and no, no, that's not a fair with a bad act. It's fair with wood, wood mecha. Okay, this thing shouldn't be too hard, especially with the AI, AI, the AI in this game being quite dumb. Oh, hello. I think that item, I think that icon on top of the meat that they're affected by status ailments. I'll have to check what our spell is, what the spell is that we have equipped, on what that ailment might be. I know that one of the ailments is supposed to be that it prevents a fairy from flying, which can be very, very good against a fairy that is flying over the void at the moment. Actually, I didn't want to catch that. Well. You still get experience, though. Unlike, uh, unlike the Pokemon games until, like, uh, Gen 6 or so, where you could, didn't get experience on capturing. Either way, we can still reject it for capture, which will just send it off. 
This means we can still use the ball? No, we didn't lose it up. Only when we decide to capture it. Yeah, right. I'd rather we capture the other fairy we met. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we should be able to find plenty of silver spears and such around the place. So we can capture a few uh, cosmetic ones. So now yeah. we'll... Let's go ahead. Uh, I was to say, we should, I should probably leave to see if they work on noon. Let's see. I would love to have a sail to steer that I can catch a ferry with, but they're really hard to find. You can give me one, you can have my water ferry in exchange. This is why we didn't pick the water ferry, because right after we can get one in exchange for a silver spear. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Here, have my ferry. Oh, come on, that's horrible! Go down now. In the wide spaces of the oceans and sea, but also in the lakes and rivers of Zara, water fairies can be found. Adona is a very young water being who is often underestimated by her opponents. So, yeah. That feels so wrong! You traded a ball for a fairy? <laughs> well, it's their choice, and uh, they can probably get back to town easily enough. And what the hell is she doing? No, it's more of a. Uh, that it just feels morally wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, let's have a check. Let's no, we, the button again. I guess we are also capturing fairies, so... Uh, maybe uh, you're not better on ourselves. Hmm. Hmm? I'm trying to get into inventory and such, but I can't remember what the keys for that is. So do you have There's an option to check? Uh, it, it isn't in here. These are just the game options, but not the inventory and such. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to double check the manual for that. Uh, Alright, that's it. Oh, to be oh, fair, this the worst thing that can happen to a fairy. Wait, what? We captured by a ball or traded for a ball? <laughs> it's the, uh, the F buttons that uh, open up the menus. We have the map, we have inventory. And yeah, here we have our fairies. So they are currently with 55 health, level 14, and she has 195 experience but needs 225 to level up. And Tadana is level 2, so yeah, she's going to need some help. She still has 28 health. And let's see, we should be able to open up yeah, the spells here. Okay. Cilia has Slight Quake, which has no special features. And okay, that, it must have been, not been a debuff that was shown on the core bot, but uh, its own buff. And Tadana here has Hail of Needles, which on critical hit deals 5 damage or 5 extra damage, I'm not sure. And you can also see how each spell is rated on damage, mana supply and fire rate. Up to 5 dots each. Um, let's see. We have no other spells that we can equip to them. So for now, we'll just actually. Uh, not that. Let's actually put Tadana up front so she can get some experience. Because basically, if, an, if a fairy appears in, in a fight, they will get experience from it. Even if they just uh, pop in for like half a second and be <laughs> beam back out, they will still get experience. Your current fairy looks like a turtle goblin? So uh, what they, the? They look a bit like a character from uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. The American McGee's Wonderland, that is. Are you talking about the turtles with cow heads? Yep. It's good to see you again, Amy. I see you found a fairy of your own. You guard it well. You have great need, need. You'll have great need of its help on your travels. Have you noticed all the little you know, impish pixies, Amy? They will mock and pester you whenever they can. It was my task to guard them, but a devious shadow elf appeared not too long ago and opened the pixies' cages. Another little pester running around free and getting up to mischief throughout the entire. I will. It will take a good fairy master to catch all the pixies. The pixies are bound to be hiding in the most distant corners of Zanzara. 
I'm afraid I'm not uh, up uh, to a job, but maybe you can help me. Take this magic pixie bag and catch as many pixies as you can. Bring the pixies you catch to my cottage just behind this entry, then I can lock them up again. I will reward you for every five pixies you catch. So yeah, that's the that's the incentive to actually go out, the little bastards. Pixie bag. Pixies are wild and hardly tame uh, uh, beings, but they can be easily transported when they are caught in this bag. For the moment, though, let's actually continue on and look at this cottage. It's nice. And as but the, the as, move. as they said, there is a magic merchant here that we can buy some spells off of. So it. It runs a bit annoyingly with how it does. As you will check in a second. And yeah, here it is. <laughs> this uh, Star Wars Episode 1 looking motherfucker. What the heck? Approach collector of fairies. I have a wider uh, selection of active and passive spells to offer. How may I help you? Wait. I, hmm? I think there's a woman. I don't think there's actually a gender with these things, but it does have uh, something noticeable up front. Oh dear. It's quite a simple matter, really. I have numerous different spells for your fairies, but I don't exactly offer them for sale. I create a random selection of spells, and you may select any spell you want to have, just uh, to make matters a little more exciting and lucrative. I have added a few blanks. The price for each selection is set and non-negotiable. Do you want me to explain the rules again? No. So, yeah, we don't actually pay for the spells. We sp we play for... We pay for him to create a random <laughs> selection of spells, and possibly not spells, that we can then select from. Uh, uh, Mil, I can handle Yermer games just fine. And I have known the Yermers before. I can handle that just... Usually called of God. Hail of Knives. One, four, nine. Okay. So as you can see, it doesn't cost anything to actually select the spells. Let's see if we can get some... Oh, there we go. Some nature spells. It does tell you if they are new or not. Let's see. Sharp Eye. It doesn't say what this do, though. So let's take this one. And we can only select one each time. So that is also very annoying. Small waves. We have no use for stone spells yet. Oh, razor blades. Or falling tree. I th will. I think we'll sooner get access to two offensive circles than we'll get to three. So let's take this one. And let's go. A Why? Three. Why am I being comforted? Sharp eye and nothing else. We can still get it because we can only have you know, one of these oh, equipped at a time. Um, let's take razor blades and go one more time before we call it here. It, yeah. There we go. And, and there we go. Uh, what? Minchir say lazik dihi. How was the pixie on? We haven't caught any yet. I'm sorry, but you don't have enough pixies to trade. I'll give you a reward for five pixies. Yeah. Seamus. Seamus dreams of becoming a great and famous uh, fairy master, but I need his help hunting pixies. Oh, these children. Famous? Really? And there's a little box that we can loot. Or another super spear. So, yeah, even if you catch <laughs> two fairies, there's a spare here. And down there is where the pixies are being kept. We don't have the key, though. So that's useless to us. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, here, can you... What is that emoji he uh, noon showing me? Error? <laughs> uh, I think one of them is a fox. Uh, front laying down and the other is a wagging tail. I think I'm more of looking very confused when you pat me. 
Anyways, there was that scarecrow over there with three chaos fairies flying oh, around it, but let's actually ignore it for the moment because I think that fight is actually pretty tough. So instead, we'll swap out instantly using the numbered keys so that Tadana will get some experience from this fight. Then we just slap this thing into the next world. <laughs> not needed to get those coins, of course, but they are useful. I think each coin that you catch in here is like five outside of the after plane. That goes. And let's see. What spell levels do you have? Oh, you, you already have enough for Hail of Knives, which fires a bit slower, but deals more damage. Well, it has what? And about what? The damage, but it has a higher crit chance. Can you repeat that spell's name again? Hail of Knives. Hail of Knives. <laughs> That's a name. Yep. And let's put one of these sharp eyes on uh, Cilia here. I don't think you can actually see specific stats on crit chance and such as anywhere. And yeah, this path is blocked by one of these thorn bushes. <laughs> and with thorns that big, I'm not getting anywhere near them. You can't actually get hurt. You you actually can't get hurt if you get move up to them or something. Uh, just a moment. I need to close my windows. Neighbors on balcony. Take this one on with Tadana. They are a bit evenly matched. <laughs> yeah, Tadana will make that weird ass little sound. That. I have a close the window. Oh, that was. And that was a crit, as you could see, going from 7 damage to 17. Also, that is... That glowing ball is the escape sphere. Another spell level already. You can't change this that either. Yeah, that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, Even though the mic doesn't seem to want to pick up my laughter. She opened up her second set of spells, which actually won't be of any use at the moment. I don't actually remember how to switch between spell sets or not. And the cottage room. Uh, for this purpose... Okay, it doesn't say anything specific about that one, but yeah, with that one we can return to this... <coughs> we can return to the cottage at any time, so we don't have to go running over from Endeavor. And here we have some pesky pixies, so I can show up what happens when you catch them. <laughs> Did you just <laughs> give it the like pinch of doom? <laughs> no, Amy just grabs them and they get teleported into the bag. Oh, bunny. The clown wing is over ambitious. Uh, they usually are in these older games. Well, strange things are happening in Zanzara. Sinister prickly bushes full of thorns are growing. Huge rocks come loose and block paths and passes. There must be something evil behind it all, Amy. Be careful on your travels. You never, un never underestimate the power of the fairies. They created Zanzara and they controlled the elements. With their help, we can overcome obstacles and use natural phenomena like the air aliens. And that is up there. We will be able to make use of those eventually, but not for quite some time yet. I think so. Hello. Human in our garden. We should be careful. Many fairies take pleasure in pestering wanderers with their magic. If I may give you some advice, look for magical places in our world. They sometimes cause helpful miracles. 
Perhaps I'm lucky to even find one of those magic fields near my stone. Point it out exactly. And yeah, when we were able to find these all over the place, and yeah, they cost stuff like a <laughs> shower of points. They will have to be quick though, since coins and items will vanish if they're not picked up quickly enough. I need to look at. I need to put up a uh, task manager on the side screen as well to see it because it looks like something is overtaxing something even though with this game's age it should not be very difficult at all well the game looks fine you however seem to be stuttering hmm. yeah you be to be the model hmm. i could go check it out but i'd rather not under uh, i'd not that rather not interrupt the stream. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, no, how does the game look on your end? As far as I can see, the game the game seems to have a little. St <laughs> Maybe a fairy got stuck in the model. <laughs> no. <laughs> but from what I'm seeing on my second screen, the game seems to have a slight stutter every now and then. Like a. a okay, so that's. I guess that's on my end then. Strangely enough. Now, yeah, all parts this way are blocked off, so all we can do is go back. And yeah, this is as fast as Aiden will go. There is no running or such. Now, is that a bit more jogging? Okay, yeah, I see the stutter now, but it's super minor. Okay. Hello there. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, all we see now is a, a lion, a tin man, and a, a girl with special shoes. Hey. They look familiar. Hey, wait just a minute. Can you free me from these terrible chaos fairies? They're really annoying pests. Be careful, they're also exceptionally strong. They are imps. Uh, what did you say? I said, oh, so they are imps. Uh, they are fairies. Yeah, no, no. They could be counted as imps. Oh, yeah. To be honest, this has better remain our little secret mind. They're undermining my authority as a scarecrow. I can't let them get away with that now, can I? <laughs> and yeah, with that we start a special fight. With a bunch of brass rope. We're level 4. But the special thing about this, oh, Chaos Lightning, critical hits, opponent has 50% jump in its own. And might be one of the ones that cut in. Uh, yeah, we face all three of these at once. Luckily, oh, come the on. are powerful against them. Very powerful against them. Whoa. Just like with Pokemon, you have type advantages and disadvantages. Like you can see at the bottom there, they can only deal one damage yes. against us. Whilst we deal double. Over double, I think. So, yeah, I, I overestimated this fight. Yes. We, however, can't... We, actually, we can't capture ah. these, though. Chaos Fairies would be rather useful in certain areas of the game, I think. But we won't be able to catch them. Quite a while. Woohoo! Don't be heck! Yeah, we're gonna get some more levels and get to sing a bit more. Try yep. a bit oh. more. Oh dear. <laughs> you slaughter. <laughs> I agree with you, it's at noon. I almost said senpai for some reason. Uh, oh, right. Say Senpai in your name. If you ever need help, come and visit me. I can replenish your uh, fairy's magic powers anytime you want. And yeah, <laughs> he's a free refill. Oh dear. Uh, actually, before we get a little fun fact about imps. Before imps became tiny demons, 
Originally it's from more if uh, gnomes and fairy type. When they suddenly became tiny demons, I don't know. I will not be surprised if there were some, uh, yeah, you know, Christianity, how they used to demonize anything that was not, well, Christian. If I remember correctly, this tree and that rock are both spawn points. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe I can spot on you that. Wait, what? What? Fix the screens. Well, no, that things are actually running pretty well, I say. Oh, those roots. Uh, yeah, the the environment of the of the arenas and the complexity of them will vary between where you actually start them. Yeah, Are we seeing really levitating see trees? Audio is uh, at the decent levels of each other. I know I should be of decent, decent uh, audio compared to the tier, but I don't. I forgot to do a, a test with uh, the game itself. Can you hear the game well, uh, Noon? You <laughs> should be using him for confirmation testing. <laughs> There should be two more pixies in the next area. And then we can take we can go down a different path. Okay, game sound is loud and clear. That's good to know. <laughs> I got whole tempted to speak very loudly, but that's, that's probably probably a bit mean. Uh, look, yeah. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, looking forward to more fair than often. I thought he's uh, misread it to pixelation and thought that, uh, why is he in looting for fair than often? Okay. okay, we'll just be a bit more experienced. Uh, yeah, we'll be seeing these arenas quite a often because yeah, these wild fairies will continue pestering us throughout the game. I don't think there's actually fall damage, but better to be certain than <laughs> squashed. <laughs> Catch the fairy, he says, as we vaporize it. I would, can we rename fairies? I think that might be an option somewhere in the game. That we, we should definitely need them after some friends. Go. I'm gonna little nudist cock. And there is another one here. Where is it? I know there were. Come on! Do you have something against nudists? <laughs> no. They <laughs> ran back this way. Okay, now I have to ask. Are there any type of goat fairies in this game? I don't think so, actually. Oh, there are a bunch of humanoid ones. Um, yeah, there's mostly humanoid ones, but some uh, there's no goat ones, I think. The new satyr pawns of ones. Moulin, tu sumni badigi plié. Greetings from Rufus the Fairy Master. Are you treating my fairy well? His well-being means a lot. You must be trained and equipped with powerful magic. Duel other fairy masters can you gain a strong collection of fairies. Are you ready to face me in a duel? Might as well, yeah. And he has a level 3 Cilia, a level 3 Wargoth, and a level 4 Aquano. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, that's the evolved version of Tadana here. Um. I... I don't know what to say. 
Just don't let it kiss me. Keep it away from me. Okay, let's get one more hit in, then swap out because I don't know how hurt that is. And yeah, you don't swap out in the same spot. There you go. And yeah, it seems that the the little lightning bolt is the critical hit buff. We thought that it looks red. A red lightning bolt. It makes me think of Griffiths, some founder theme from uh, Hammerfall, the band, or the spell in Warcraft 3 known as Finger of Pain. But Finger of Pain and Finger of Death, which just basically just shoot a red lightning bolt that's either off your health or instant kill something. Okay. Between the neck, uh, between this stream and the next, I should fix the uh, should fi fix the resolution so that we do see the well, <laughs> the required information. Yeah. So it would be a challenge to do to finish the game without seeing your health or mana. <laughs> yeah. One day you'll be a famous fairy monster. Even a fairy monster. Who would have believed it? Okay, now that we have the, the pixie bag, we can get rid of this little pest. Go, six of thirty. Uh, order. Has, the, has this terrible pixie really uh, disappeared from my shop? Thanks for catching the pixies. Uh, now I can open my shop again. I just wait for you people, I did not eat the pixie. I just happened to burp at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's buy some stuff. And yeah, this is quite simple. And as you can see, we already have gotten quite a lot of coin from all of those battles. Oh dear. Uh, Noom, you are good. You are wonderful. Just what would find it nice to, in your own name, a fairy after you. So you can, in a way, be part of the game with us. Uh, he can choose once we've got a few more. Oh yeah! That sounds like a good idea. Do you like the idea, Noom? I, I fixed the orientation of my freaking uh, avatar again, but I have to alt tap the game in which we're like I said, crash. Finish it too, do we? Welcome to Endeavor, the village of the elves. Can I help you? Catch some wild fairies. If you want to catch wild fairies, you need magic spears. They are very rare and cost a lot of money. If you've got a magic spear, you can catch a wizard fairy with your own fairy. Let's hope you're luckier than me. You only ever catch very weak fairies. It's really depressing. Do you want to train? Then, yeah. Messer for noon. Noon says yes. We can challenge this guy to a fight for a bit of combat training. His fairy is very, very weak, so we won't get much, if any, experience out of this, though. You are not kidding. That, that was... That was brutal. <laughs> you think it was only six experience. You can just need to train here anytime. And he will... <laughs> You <laughs> even throw us some coins. Okay, uh, let's check. How are they doing? Okay, health is pretty good. Some spells to equip. Slight healing. Assistance heals one damage point. Okay. The wording of that is a bit odd. Does it mean that they will heal one point of health uh, with every attack, or if it just regenerates one health point every now and then? Wow, oh, human, don't come uh, too close to me. I could rather be some evil to lead a human to our glorious world. Humans always cause misery and destruction. So don't really let the pants of the other back with like pixies with. And that is why we went the other way. Because I'm this little brat here blocks the way. What? Where did you human get my father's collecting bag? We've got a fairy. There's some just. Just wait until we meet again. Oh no, alright. Is that your rival? 
Uh, not really. I do think we get the battle here at one point, but she isn't going to uh, show up every now and then. Wait, Unlike she? Yeah. Seamus is a guy name, and you said no. No, wait. You said the name wrong earlier. I think. I think you just accidentally said semen. <laughs> but yeah, they, they aren't going to be showing up every now and then to challenge us to a point of battle. Triggered that little laugh of Tadana's just now. Maybe it was because of a critical hit or something. <laughs> also, this core god came at us with like a freaking grudge from so far away. Just look at that distance. It takes a full three seconds for it to fuck off back into his tree as well. Kirillin, that way. I wonder if I can translate those runes. Points. So then again, it depends in the developers were very authentic with the rune writing. Yeah, you can take a screenshot now if you want. Uh, it's, it's too small for me. Uh, it, it's not... I, I would need to be in the same room as you to have a proper look. And yeah, this way to the city and that way into the walls. I don't remember where that connects to when hello, the sparkles. And another coin ring. The coin ring sounds like cannons or something. Coin cannon? Coin gun? That's Enchanted forest. Birdie. It was a bird, alright. I got, was off to. Was that a bird or was that a very tiny fairy dragon? Nope. And another poor god. Yeah, we will. Like I said, we will be getting attacked quite a lot. But these normal ones we'll be able to swap away once we get a decent enough level. Critical hits. Okay, it's probably it's probably the critical hit that caused it. No, I don't want to capture you. I do wonder how many times can most fairies upgrade themselves? Uh, like in the Pokemon games, there's typically two evolutions possible. Not all of them will evolve, and not all of them will evolve twice. But in general, most have two evolutions. All right. This is just pretty. Oh. And yeah, this road leads straight to Tiverlin. Hello there. There are some stuff. There are some things that you can find <laughs> off the beaten path. But let's focus on mostly on getting from point A to B. Oh my! What kind of a giant creature are you? I've been roaming the woods of Zanzara for some time, looking for rare nature fairies. I love those little green creatures, even though their spells can be really mean. The poison spell is particularly dangerous. The fairy hit by it will continually lose life energy while it is in the astral plane. You will need medicine to heal a poisoned fairy. Here's a bottle just in case. Only use it when you need it. Despite the fact that we already have like a dozen or so. Yeah. <laughs> I think I recognize that jump she's doing. And here's our first dwarf. <laughs> so you're I aiming in the human world. German. <laughs> Welcome to the gates of Thirlin. I'm glad I've met you. It, it's supposed to sound similar to German. It's not actual German. Similar with the French. It sounds French, but it isn't. I'm glad I've met you. Rafi told me you had arrived in Sanzora and told me to keep an eye on you. But many dreadful things have happened since then. His, his name is Lasse. 
there's a rumor that sinister vicious creatures called shadow elves have come here, here from the shadow realm. Pixies are on the loose and large prickly bushes are spreading like wildfire. On top of all that, I've just heard that my father, Dwarf Master Quinlan, has disappeared. He saw these troubles time coming and now that we need him, he's nowhere to be found. I hope you'll understand that I must go looking for my father. He's not as young as he was and he's bound to need my help. Oh, I almost forgot. The last time we met, Rafi asked me to give you this book. It's a fairy book. Any decent fairy master ought to have one. You can use it to organize the fairies you collect and find out about, uh, find out about their strengths and weaknesses. Excuse me, I must really go. There. Like you said, the Book of Fairies. Use the Book of Fairies to list your collected fairies. Uh, you can open it at any time in the game. Maybe. And this is basically our Pokedex. Oh dear. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I recognize her dance. No. I think that it's part of one of the Irish dancers. I guess, step, okay. I don't know which name, not if it's a step dance or a type of rhythm dance or something, but I do recognize it. Right. It might be a step dance. Um, yeah. Like spells, you, we can see attributes of fairies in their hit points, dexterity. I don't know exactly what that means. It might be movement speed, their jump ability, and their special stats, which, like I said, affects things like crit chance and such, or is supposed to. And Cilia is pretty decent all around. And Tadana is, well, even more all around. <laughs> it also tells when they will evolve. Tadana at level 25 and Cilia at level 22. Alright. Now, let's end this. Okay, not exactly what I expected from Dwarven Architecture. And this isn't Dwarf. <laughs> this is still oh, it is. Helps. Oh, alright, alright. Then it makes sense. We'll get to the Dwarves eventually. Who are you calling kid? You're with like half any size. Fino Bermoni, Permi Capton. Oh, the stranger in a beautiful town. These are troubled times in the bazaar. You can hear many rumors about rampage and shadow elves, large rocks from, from the skies, and many other things. But I'm talking to a huge human isn't really making matters any easier for me. Still, our most important rule is hospitality. So if you have any questions, you come to the right place. And yeah, we can ask him about the swamp goblins and the prickly bushes. Let's be this might come across a bit insensitive seeing as there's one right behind us. Oh, swamp goblins are peaceful enough. They live in the heart of the misty swamp. Their village is called Dunmore and is built on wooden stilts. I heard it's a pretty wobbly construction. But they say there are a lot of shadow elves here nowadays. Probably because it's a close to the shadow elves. Master Dunmore is long and dangerous. Some say you can't get there on foot at all anymore. You better look out for a different way of traveling if you're trying to visit that place. Okay, room. Rocks and the bushes. They appear there from out of nowhere, walking past the entrances. They're a real plague. There's little wee elves and goblins can do about it, but I hear the fairies are powerful now. Basically, they're magic rocks and bushes, so they can't just clip them or pickaxe them to bits. I'm not a dwarf. You're sure you know, to have found gold in your trip. You can buy crystals from these dwarves. I'll trade one crystal for five pieces of gold. I think crystals are the currency that the dwarves use. They don't use gold, I think. Uh, that voice, it's. And here she is again. Fairy duel against me. Seems the great. Yep, let's give it a shot. And she has a level 5 Dremor. Well, it's a little gargoyle. It's actually an evolved version of Grem. Grem is the other uh, fairy that we're going to take at the start. Beyond 
that he has a stow bath, which is a good version of the best bath, if I remember correctly. So there isn't too much of a difference. And a gar bath, which is very Barbie uh. doll not me. And looks a bit like the from the Gargoyles show. Yeah, but with boobs? No. Maybe <laughs> they're a bit too pointy, but yeah. Uh, that might be accidental uh, pecs, I don't know what it's called. And I accidentally made it uh, bust like. When your pecs are so hard, they become boobs. It's a thing. Oh, uh, thank you, Noon. I could have it, 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 it are pecs. Okay, I think Tadana should be able to deal with the, uh, the father. And then we'll swap to Celia for the last one. Where are the the father? Yeah, polygons are on the limits. Yeah, since we can't see how healthy or unhealthy Tadana is, I'm not going to risk her getting knocked out. I think if they get knocked out, uh, they don't get experience. So let's go for one last hit. There we go, and swap out. You've mentioned it a bit with the uh, the dance. The music in a lot of places is very impulsive, like. So it would fit that. Uh, yeah, maybe Amy is a bit of Irish descent. Or side. There's a lot of fairies in uh, in British and Irish uh, folklore, even in Celtic and Gaelic, even in Scandinavia, Germany, and all that. And this thing is hard. Yeah, even in Finland has a lot of fairies. There's a lot of fairies as such in European. And there's also some in Asia. So general upper United Kingdom area. <laughs> yeah, the states that have dwarves, we should not rule out the, uh, the rest of Europe. Some levels for everyone. Fairies weren't fighting properly, else I would have won. I'll go back into the forest to collect even stronger fairies for the next duel. I'm not even sure if there is a next duel. Uh, what? Noon? Fairies are fairies, they are not dolls. They may look like them, but they aren't. I think this door over here is, uh, is locked to us. There's a little lock on top of it, so yeah. Um, what's in here? Hello. Dinjal Genu Karadilevid Midu. Bless all the fairies of this world, I've been saved. There's a dreadful monster in my cellar. Can you help me? With your size, it should be easy to cast this revolting beam. I get the feeling it's going to be pretty easy to guess what that is. So, yoink. I expect it to be something dangerous or something laughable. Uh, yeah, that's another reason why these people can't deal with the fairies. They find them absolutely disgusting with the pixies. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for relieving me of this beast. Now we can get now we can get to my uh, magic items again. I can sell you some if you want. And so we have opened up another merchant. Let's see. Information about the catacombs of Tyrolin. Under Tyrolin is a dreadful place no elf dares to enter. There are dark fairies roaming uh, there are dark fairies living down there, and they have supernatural magic powers. It's not much. Oh. Golden carrots. These things, well, they are pricey as you can see. 
But there are also the, this game's you know, rare candy, if I remember correctly. They made golden carrot before Minecraft. <laughs> yep. I don't remember what molding magic does, though, so let's actually buy one of those. Oh. Well, it does mold? Oh, hello. Famous fairy collectors give their fairies a name of their choice. Use this object with the fairy to give it a name. All right. Let's buy a few of these, actually, then. Three. Four. Five. And garlic atomizer. I'll just show an unpleasant combination of garlic, salt, and mashed clover leaves. It will be automatically suggested for use if a wild fairy attacks you. This is a repel. Wait, but what? Gildicus was in Fable as well? Okay? Didn't Fable come out after this? I, I don't know. No idea. Oh yeah, that's a pretty but, useful shop. Uh, I will say this though. They should give purple carrots some love. Oh, that was like the original color carrots. The yeah. orangeness is a mutation. Which looks a lot more appetizing, to be honest. Are you saying a eggplant that does not look appetizing? Uh, no, not really. Been years they I have to agree. The name of all the magical creatures in Sunzara. Human in our town? We believe, would you believe it? It appears the prophecy is more than just a legend after all. Still, I should have expected it, really. I'll swoop our, our roofs and scattered in all directions. There were bad rumors going from the misty, uh, coming from the misty swamps. They say the shadow elves have left their realm, and Quinlan, the leader of the dwarves, has disappeared. Then you appear, a human. You're truly times of change. I don't think there's really anything we can do in here. It's locked for some reason. So that's going to be curious. But there are some things that we can collect here. So, yeah, let's just head upstairs and look for some loot. Speaking of... The map of the Enchanted Forest. The overview, the, the overview map of the Enchanted Forest. So, nothing is different there from there. And yeah, now we have an extra bit of this. We still can't zoom in or anything. Which, if there is a remake to be made of this game, I definitely suggest to add a more local map. Ah, <laughs> So you're the human everyone's talking about. I am the keeper of stories and legends of days gone by. Hardly any of them tell of good or kind humans. Should I tell you about the three worlds? There once was a time when uh, all worlds were connected. When humans and fairies respected each other you know, and lived together in peace. There has always been a human world, a world of fairies, in our world, Sanzara. But you never hear of the time where the worlds were united, except in legends and myths. The guilt of the humans. Humans, monsters. Many centuries ago, you began your great hunt. First, a few of the creatures of magic. We owe it to the white druid alone that we are still alive. Anything you couldn't explain was strange to you. Anything that was strange to you had to uh, be hunted down. You drove the fairies and wizards out and banned them from the world. The white druid divided Sanjaro from the human world and closed the ancient parts. But now you humans have found a portal into our world. I fear that uh, this is the end of peace for all of us. Yeah, uh, they don't oh, really like humans here. <laughs> yeah, I think I knew in what the time. I think you talk about the. Uh... The Middle Ages, when uh, yeah, Christianity really hammered down on fairies and such. Yeah, witch hunting and all that. Yeah. And here we have another of these floating books. And it happened that chaos came over Tsensera. In those days, the prickly bushes grew on the paths and houses. Nobody, not even the druid from the realm of clouds, could find a way to fight the plague. But the songs of the ancients tell of a fairy spell deep in the swamp. One day, a hero will find the spell and overcome the prickly bushes. 
Brickly Ushis. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like much of an adventure, does it? <laughs> Mighty Slayer of uh, Strawberry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's like confused, but like, is it really read? Like, that that to, had to feel, it must be a yoke. It felt yeah. like a damn yoke. Yeah, this game was made so kids could play it as well. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, and now that I actually think I, about it, I, I don't know if we will ever find the key for this door. I don't remember ever opening that one. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll go there. What's the age rating for this game, Hillian? Uh, I need. Uh, where did that leave? Mm. I just want to make sure if it's time for that meme again. Uh, I can do a quick look up here. Let's see. Oh, do you have the physical form? I do, but I don't have it by my side here. This, this is actually the Steam version of the game, I believe. I need to double check because I installed it so long ago. All of this. All right, so it came to Steam. All right. Yep, in 2015 it was put on Steam for anyone who wants to well, check this game out themselves. Okay, so, nice. I forgot this. Sanzarva is also the name of a professional League of Legends player. Oh. Maybe that's why they maybe they play this game. <laughs> Could be. Uh, let's see, Zanzora Hidden Portal... Uh, so, what happens next? Amy... I'm not seeing actually a... I'm not actually seeing an age rating... ...on the uh, picture to uh, cover art. So I could have been that it was for all ages. It's, it feels... Then again, Germany... Like, I, I'm so used to think about the... Uh, American age rating. That they being so very so. Uh, no offense to Americans, but a bit more sensitive. For Boko Namago! Women and Terrellin. Maybe you can help us goblins. The swamp in our village is besieged by the Shadow Ranks. They have blocked any parts for the swamp. If you help us goblins, we'll be eternally grateful. We must find a way into the swamp village and defeat all the Shadow Ranks. I don't know how long my friends will be able to hang on to see if it's her in here. So yeah, in case we missed anything else about <laughs> and all the other points where we could have asked about the village. And new game chat, we practice his skill shot in this game. I don't think that is the case, but anyways, this is where we use the catacomb key to go get in the catacombs. Is, every, is it actually too big if my memory is correct? But just in case, let's put down a save. It's also a good way of telling how long we've actually been doing <laughs> playing the game so far. Well, I think we have about 25 minutes left and what the heck? Yeah, and there's well, another merchant here. She or he or whatever they are are back. And uh, those bags that have that are a lot more colorful, with the star bits and such, uh, those just mean that it's a, a more pricey item. It sounds like a guy. Okay, this one creates chaos spells. Confused spirits. Assistance 20% faster uh, spell recharge. Okay, I believe that means actually that this the fire rate will be up, go up at 20%. Dance of Shadow, 20% actual <laughs> additional damage per hit. That'd be very useful on a powerful spell. Might as well take it so our money isn't completely wasted. And a full set of blanks. Thanks, jackass. Yep. Thanks again. Oh. And Ice Spells. Ice Arrow and Severity. This one is, okay, just more damage, but it only has five shots. Critical hit, status change, opponent frozen. Let's actually avoid that and check this out. 
Defense prevents status changes. Okay, that that'd be very useful. Yep, chaos Lightning and Spirit of Chaos. This is the first spell that we've seen that has multiple you know, elements to them. The way that, that this goes is that at some point fairies will develop a rainbow uh, circles or squares for their spells. I, I'm not sure if they're they. I'm not sure if that happens on the on the uh, spell squares or not, but eventually they will be able to use different spells uh, spells with different elements to them. Okay. okay. Let's go a few more. Get some of these other spells. And there we go. Now then, what? Oh, there's another key here. Oh, another gate here. Potion. And the garlic atomizer. And another owl. Oh, this one apparently doesn't deserve to get bowed to. We took up a, a potato sack. <laughs> At last, a being oh. of flesh and blood has come to see me. I appreciate that. I usually only see ghosts and spirits. Not exactly ideal company for a wise wooden vowel. How the hell did you even get in here? The dark corners of Zanzara are the preferred homes of chaos fairies. They love the putrid, morbid atmosphere. However, the chaos fairies aren't quite as bad as the dark fairies. You'd better keep out of their way if you can. The catacombs go down far below the earth, but the dwarves lock the entrance to these you know, chilling places with a magic iron lock a long, long time ago. Can't exactly say I'm not grateful for that. Who knows what might be lurking down there. So we need another key to get down to where the dark and chaos fairies will spawn. Oh, noon has a request, Helian. <laughs> we need more cute fairies. Uh, you won't find those here. But we will find a level 17 Skelbo. Okay, yeah, that is quite a jump already, huh? I think what it's the? If I remember correctly, this is a Chaos Fairy, so Celia will be able to fight it effectively. Where is it? Ah, there you are. There it goes in one shot, and... Yeah, that was one of the debuffs that you can get, that you just start spinning like mad. I think we'd get more experience from level 17, but oh well. Okay. Uh, uh, Something tells me is uh, kind of disappointed. They want to get more cute first, and while we get a bad winged skeleton. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who's disturbing me? I go to my catacombs. You must be mad to come here. Prepare yourself for a lesson. And this is a dark fairy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a level 34 Manox. Yeah, we might get our asses kicked here. Why the had do you... Why do you have to zoom in on his ass when you said that? So luckily, this is another reason why having a, fa a water fairy is very useful. Because they are very effective against dark fairies. There we go. In in general, most of the uh, in general most fairy types are actually more vulnerable, more vulnerable to more types than they are effective against. Ah. I should never have left the shadow realm. Visit me there, and then I will defeat you. And he poofs off. But yeah, a lot of enemies that we'll face will have chaos or dark fairies. Evolutionary magic of fire. Uses magic that uses magic stone with a suited fairy and it will change in a marvelous way. Yep, <laughs> it's a firestone. 
Yeah, uh, we will we will certainly be facing a lot of you know, chaos and dark fairies as we get through this game. So having a nature and a water fairy is very useful to counter those. And healing herbs. Use these herbs to re reanimate your defeated fairies. For this purpose, use the item in the object menu of the respective fairy. And the fairy will be very grateful for it. And that's all there is to live down here. That evolutionary stone will come use uh, will come in use certainly at one point, but we are quite a distance off from that. And the grass rope. Hmm. Should we try to capture this one? I forgot. Chaos is strong against water. One reverse it might be controls. good idea to capture some more fairies since we probably gonna need them. And well, I might as well show up the animation. And this one was level 19. Yep, <laughs> that happened quickly. <laughs> Typically, that takes a bit longer. But that's it? Yeah, it, it's supposed to take a bit longer, but I think the game might not be really up to it with how quick, you know, how much faster my processor is. Or just the simple distance. But I kind of like it. It does it ain't that, uh, like, uh, unnecessarily dragged out. Okay, Tadana has already gotten some silver, you know, some rainbow spheres for a spell slot. So technically she's our strongest attacker at the moment because Celia still hasn't upgraded from a single one. Is that a bit of concerning? Might as well put that out. There's no need to put that in since she can't. She doesn't have a spell for that one. And uh, yeah, Razro was level 19, but is now level five. Like they said, fairies lose a lot of experience when they're captured. I guess that makes sense as a balancing act. Yeah. Though, I think they lose a bit too much, if I must say so myself, and that is all we can explore of the catacombs at the, yeah, at the moment. Let's see, we still got a good amount of time, so we can, we can continue exploring the town. And of course, where there's a town, <laughs> there's a tavern. Who wants a stein? They did not have to animate this so well, but they did. Yep. Uh, oh no, I used to remember the fact about steins. I think the reason they are called stein is some original steins were actually made of stone. Because stein translates to stone. <laughs> yep, and some monks were made of stone. It became rare, but uh, yeah, I think we knew why they became rare. Yeah, you'd rather not have uh, your drink mixed with gravel. Uh, I think it's more of a, it's easier to make a mug out of uh, metal and uh, pottery than of stone. That's information about Zanzara and Tyrolin. You've come to the right place if you're looking for information about Zanzara. I read a lot of gossip. I can help you for a lousy 30 coins. How about it? Might as well. There are lots of places to visit in Tyrolin. There's the tavern, the herb shop just around the corner, the exchange booth, and a cellar of magic objects at the other end of town. Not too useful, but we can find coins laying around all over the place. Then <laughs> she put her forehead through the desk. And also, we can buy magic spheres here. Golden and crystal ones. So, wait, are they out? Oh, no, 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 it's it's trade silver spheres. If we have, we can trade them a certain amount of spheres for different items. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, is that the bloody Walkman that uh, Amy is carrying around on her belt? It might be yet. <laughs> Bonjour, sick, dis la oui. Hello, I hope you're a worthy victim. I'm looking for a suitable player. The rules are quite simple. The board is measured five by five playing fields. You must try to get your five playing pieces to the opposite side. You can have a go for just ten fairy coins. If you win, you will receive a reward. Do you want to play? Okay. Um, okay, okay, he's I'm, playing as well. Oh dear. I'm sure there's a Walkman. I think that's too small for Walkman. And too small for a CD player. Let's see. They can only move diagonally. So let's start from the center. And block this one off. Then that one's going to go there. So let's move here. Oh. Let's move past with one. Yep, he's moved past with two. Okay, let's block that one off. Okay. And we can only move back now. So let's see. Let's not move. Actually, no, we can move forward with this one. There. Hmm. And he's... Okay, he was forcing us back with that. Move up like this. And I think we've got him beat. If... Well, we had him beat until he blocked our path. Okay. And that's game over. <laughs> oh, we almost had him. Oh, well. I'm not even... I'm not even sure what you would get as a reward, so it probably wouldn't be too worth it. You mean you never won it? I don't think I've ever really bothered with that beyond one try. Oh, hey, a human whom the fairies will follow. That's strange. As you can see, I have a strong and rare nature fairy in my collection. I would love to trade it for one of those wonderful stone fairies. Uh, what was its name now? Oh, yes, I, I'd love to trade it for a for jump rock. Do you agree? Well, we don't have a jump rock, so we can't trade it. We could um, catch a jump rock, though. Yeah, we would have to find one, though, first. And I don't remember if jump rock is the base version of it or the evolved version. Mm, uh, we can return to all the areas, right? True, but I'm not sure if... Uh, that line of uh, that line of fairies will spawn from the rocks that we've seen. Solo mamata, mambana solo maka. These are truly desperate times. Now even the humans are invading our paradise. As if the shadow elves aren't bad enough. Let's not speak more of that before the sensors kick in. Oh, the human fairy collector. That is a rare sight. From here, we can buy magic spheres. Uh, we, I don't really think we need to act, ask this, but let's... You claim to be a fairy mistress, yet you know nothing about magic fairy spheres? That's incredible, but I can change it. There's fairy spheres to, uh, spheres to catch and tame wild fairies. You must weaken them first, then lock them in, as in, in, the, in the sphere. The spirit will magic the fairy to your place of birth. Since wild fairies possess varying strengths, there are different kinds of spheres. The silver sphere can trap fairies up to level 20, and will require a golden sphere for stronger fairies. Save the crystal sphere for the most experienced fairies in Zanzara. It's very expensive and rarely found. Let's see. For 60 each. 150 and 300 for a crystal. Uh, Let's stick to the ones that we still have. It should be another one or two. Let's see. Um, that's very, there's items. Uh, yeah, we still have two silver spheres. Hmm, <laughs> pardon? Welcome to the biggest shop for potions and powders in the whole of Zanzara. I offer the best goods for low prices. 
Uh, oh. I have this pump rune. Do you want to buy it for five crystals? Oh, we don't have crystals, but we do know where we can exchange them. Do you want to buy some, something else? Okay, the same as before. Well, that gives us a reason to go back to that dwarf at the center. Or at the town center. And there's another magic merchant up here. Let's see what you have to offer. Dun, dun, blow you. <laughs> the, the game censors itself. Okay, stone spells. And water, but we don't need that one. Hail of Needles is the standard spell that all water fairies come with. Oh, slight insanity. <laughs> Critical hit. Opponent spells recharge 40% slower. Let's go for one more. Okay, let's go for one more because that was all blank. So, healing power. Let's take that. There we go. Now, what is in this box? And then we'll head back. Just some medicine. <laughs> I'm not really sure if that if that little jig is part of an actual dance. It just looks like a standard little uh, victory jig. I think it's I think they took an inspiration of a dance and made it into a jig. It, rest of that well, no, it could be an Irish jig. Maybe. Uh, wait, ain't jig a dance? I think Jig is more typically used for a short little uh, dance. Oh, he only has three of these. Dwarves disregard fairy coins. The only value of these these inhabitants of the mountains are interested in is that of crystals from the depths of some zone. They are very rare and thus very valuable. Yet he tells you for five points. Time for seven gold coins. It's my second crystal. Now I've got only one crystal left. Hello, Amy. I'm always ready to see my guys like you. Do you need even more crystals? I'll trade my last crystal for ten gold coins. Oh, you've got my last crystal as well. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. I have to say, his sounds. Old Scandinavian. But we have some Swedes with a very thick accent like that. Okay. Let's see. So why is it wrong to dress up fairies but make them battle to the death? <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> well, it's not battle to the death since they do poof back into the astral plane after. They... I, I think the lore behind it, or the explanation behind them uh, throwing stuff or dropping items and such is them basically uh, have this you know, basically is throwing it as a distraction so they can get away <laughs> come on in uh, too loud very close. okay that's our fourth crystal and five so now we can get the room. So, yeah, we still have a bit of time. Let's get the room and explore the last pieces of Tyrion. Thank you for the five crystals. You're pretty smart for a human girl. Here, take your rune and use it wisely. They say the runes will open direct paths to different regions of the Zara. This swamp rune will guide you to the swamp. I obtained it from one of the swamp commons a long, long time ago. Uh, what the, uh, Hillian, I think you want to take a look at the chat. Yeah, it's fine now, but leaving our house, it gets too loud. Uh, okay, it, it spikes up uh, a bit, yeah. Okay, I'll need to work on that to lower it. Uh, I, I was about to all tap, but I didn't crash the game, like I said. Hello, human. I first heard of you humans a very long time ago. Little is what I hope was great. Have you now come to plague our peaceful town as well? 
I'm having enough trouble coping with the dwarves. I wish they'd go back to the dark place. Okay, jackass. And I think this part of town was mostly abandoned. Not really <clears throat> lived in much. Oh, hello. A golden spear. Not east. That sound, the gates sound a little loud. Not too bad for me, but I were you for Luna? What the heck was that? Oh, right, that was a bit different. This is Alana. And yeah, we're back to the cute berries for for noon. <laughs> Yeah, uh, would, no, would you uh, would you like to have one of the two fairies that we have at the moment? One of the three fairies that we have at the moment named after you? Or have a name chosen by you? Or would you perhaps like uh, Lana here? You'll have to be quick before I kill her. I want to say grab Lana as well, since, well, extra fairies be a good idea. They will be very uh, weak. Okay, I, I'll take that. Yeah, as I'll. <laughs> you want Lana? Yeah. No. Maybe it'd be a good to do some lever grinding off stream. Yeah, we can probably do that in the catacombs. I can just get in the ball. <laughs> that is supposed to take longer. <laughs> At least this game is what it is we can be allowed to do some off-screen grinding without worrying to accidentally trigger a story as much. Yeah. Mush? Much? Not mush. Yeah, the only way we can progress the story at the moment is by going to Dunmore. But we can explore around more for, well, stuff that isn't really needed. Wait. Oh, Tin of I mean, oh, Dunmore three. is... I think Dunmore is a real place. And what the? Yeah, this is this is a tin a tin of all. You should have ate a goblin. Uh, maybe at one point. We, we we actually want one of these. Oh, but oh, they're very that's... good. Yeah, more for the fact that we can use that evolutionary stone on this one. Yeah. Very strong, though. Ah! It, it's level 30, of course. It's very really strong. Up and... Oh. Yeah, that's not going to do any... Yeah, we might want to avoid this area for a bit because we're going to get slapped. Oh? Still nice little music. But luckily, this game isn't me. And so no penalties? Nope. We just get thrown back to the last uh, save point. But yeah, with uh, Tinnafall, we would be able to... Uh, let's see, where is it? <clears throat> we would be able to use the evolutionary magic of fire to turn it into a fire fairy. Uh, wait. We're going to need a fire fairy at one point. Does this mean we lost the fair retained? Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we did lose Lana. Okay, let's go look for her then. <clears throat> and put a save in after so we can name her uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, what, would you want, would you want the, the fairy to be named after you or to be given a name by you? Oh, it, now it's a core god. Eat it! Eat it! Beat it and eat it! And that's 
10 p.m. So after this fight, we will call it though. But we will def we'll definitely put that on a to-do list to uh, get Elana and let Moon uh, name it. Okay, I'm surprised that actually hit. I'll also need to experiment a bit to get the resolution fixed so we can actually see. Oh, I didn't have I didn't mean to capture it. Did I capture it? I think I did. The to do this. Catch Alana, fix the resolution, and get this game working in full in windowed mode. Okay, I a bit off there. Her name will be uh, Leia Seat Nancy. <laughs> Make sure you take note of that, Helian. And don't forget to screen. Saving. And then. I'll actually quit program so I can actually well, really move my mouse away from everything. Okay. Uh, give me a second, actually. Uh, Actually, now that, I now, now that I realize that the end uh, scene here that we were on earlier doesn't have any sound, it also means that during one of our streams where we moved to it at the end, that we actually weren't giving off any sound at all. <laughs> okay, let, me actually, let me actually Why? fix that in real time now. Just microphone uh, to, to copy, yes. Paste. Okay, that should make me audible. And then we get Discord. Copy. And paste. There we go. Okay, you. we should both now be audible here. It, so how we know we audible, audible? Like, how do we know we can't see new responding to go from it? Uh, I'll fix that in another bit. I just... Copying over the chat. Yeah, that is probably a good idea. That would be no, it's working. There we go. It's a. I'll put something behind that to make it easier to read. Uh, let's see, where is that? Where is that? <clears throat> or actually, no, I think I made that part of the background. So that is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, I'll need to. I'll need to either change the, the text to white so it's more easily viewable or well <laughs> okay if, anyways at the moment i'm going to write down that name l a yeah. can you hear still noon lay city okay okay good night friends thanks for the stream uh, thank you for watching um, i'm going to look now if there's anyone we can raid, and it seems that I forgot to yeah. close off this browser. Have a good night. Uh... Oh, yeah. Have a good night, noon. And yep, they can hear us. Lovely. Okay, that is good. Uh, Azra Arcane is online again, so let's go say hi to them. Also, hey. mute. There we go. Then I'll just open up. <clears throat> then I'll just open up the stream on the page here and start the raid. All right, slash raid, Azure Arcane, and start. Okay, uh, like I said, I'll have to fix some things, which I'll note right here now. Windowed <laughs> mode. <laughs> get, get me, okay, that get, gets a bit twitchy if I look down too much. Yeah, you and, just uh, started to vibrate. Resolution. Then you get so infuriating that you start to vibrate. No, I, oh, I, I missed. I mixed. Really messed up the raid. I, I typed in slash rad instead. There we go. Raid started. <clears throat> All right. Hey, let's run! Uh, I'll have to see when I can stream next because tomorrow for two to three days I I should have well, work again at the late shift so I can't uh, stream of course uh, the weekend um, I'll have to double check when I 
you know what times they'll have to work. Maybe we sh could be a maybe we could put in a um, <clears throat> at least one stream, but we'll have to see. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> well, like I said, we ha we'll have to see when I can stream next. Uh, but for now, this went pretty well. What do you think of the game Ooh, so yeah. far? Very interesting. A bit pity the characters don't talk much, but there is some story that in seem interesting. But I do hope uh, if they ever get a remake, they give it a bit more fleshing out. Yeah. For now, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for seagulls.